Hi there, my name is Jairo Pineda, an audio engineer who helps out at Voice123. We'll be talking about common voiceover audio recording problems and its possible fixes. A link to our full how-to-edit voiceovers piece on our voiceover guide is found in the description below. Today, we're talking about civilians. Quick definition. What's civilians? What does it happen? Sibilance is the excessive high-frequency sound that's produced with letters like S. It's the S sound. It happens as a result of lip movement, airflow between your teeth, or a lisp. If you have sibilance after recording, here are some tips on how to remove them in post. We're gonna use Pro Tools native plugins to fix it. Let's dive into it. Here's a voiceover with excessive sibilance. It's a fortified fruit juice in all your favorite flavors no preservatives and sugar-free. Now that we have identified where the excessive sibilance is, let's zoom in and select these parts. No preservatives and sugar-free. Now, let's slice this segment. We can do this in Pro Tools with the B key and use the clip gain slider to reduce its volume by about six decibels. Let's do the same with the other segments. No preservatives and sugar-free. There are times where manually editing everything might be very tedious. In these cases, you can use a de to automate this process. A de will compress the high-frequency information to reduce its volume. No preservatives and sugar-free. Let's insert the native de plugin to this track. All major digital audio workspaces, or DOS, have a de in their tools. Let's dial the range, which is the amount of decibels that de will reduce. No preservatives and sugar-free. No preservatives and sugar-free. No preservatives and sugar-free. And toggle the high frequency only setting so that it only affects the selected range. Let's dial the cutoff frequency. No preservatives and sugar-free. Now let's compare the original version no preservatives and sugar-free. With the finished product. No preservatives and sugar-free. And there you have it. These are our tips on how to remove sibilance in your recordings. Remember, investing time and resources in your pre-production and recording stages will improve your post-production experience. Comment down below if you have more tips and tricks on how to solve sibilance or if you have any additional questions. Be sure to check out our other videos in the series.